Hello everyone, welcome to KDJ Good YouTube channel. So today I'm going to teach you how you can generate a presentation using macro with the power of Jada AI. So this is an amazing tutorial. So you have to uh, watch this until the end of the video for sure. If you don't know about macro, what is macro and how you can use that with PowerPoint. So definitely I will teach you from basics. So don't worry. So watch this video carefully. Uh, okay, I will sh uh, I will move into the screen. Now you can see this is the Google search engine. So I'm going to search here as Jada AI. Okay, guys. Now you can see the first link here, Jada AI. So just click it, and now you will be able to see this login option. Just click it, then you will be able to see the login with Google, and uh, maybe you can use uh, your email uh, to create a new account by using this sign uh, sign up for fan, sign up for an account. Okay. So just I'm going to click on this continue with Google, and I will be able to log in uh, through my Gmail. So I just uh, moved my uh, screen to the other one. Uh, wait, I will show you how uh, we can log into the system and then what we can see here. Okay, so now I logged in to the system uh, my, using my email. So now you will be able to see that I got into the dashboard here. So dashboard got a new workspace button. I already got some workspaces here because I just created. You can see four months ago, five months ago. Actually, I'm a very uh, good user with Jada AI. So now I got cheap plan here. If you need to uh, use cheap plan, do you definitely have to get the premium plan. Uh, actually, you can see the pricing uh, by Googling uh, on uh, as, uh, Jada AI uh, pricing. Uh, just google it okay jada AI pricing then you will be able to see the prices of the uh, jada ai by the way you can use it for free also so don't worry uh, in the free uh, free uh, edition so you will be able to get a lot of things especially uh, actually you can't imagine even imagine uh, what are the benefits that you can get using uh, jada ai so now what we are going to do today is generate a presentation so, so just click it just click the new workspace button there so now uh, you can see this kind of a workspace actually this is a blank workspace workspace means actually by using control and then you can uh, use the mouse uh, mouse scroll then you can see uh, we can zoom in and also zoom out so this is kind of a unlimited workspace that you can use for your work maybe your presentations and etc by the way now what i'm going to uh, teach you is how to generate a macro first of all here you can see you can select something like this universal so just click it and then you will be able to see text option okay so what are these mind maps flowcharts so there are a lot of things that you can use okay you okay you can generate flowcharts you can generate mind maps you can generate some in-depth analysis okay visual analysis so just try to use them by the way now what i'm going to do is text okay select text and it's free uh, for all of you because you can uh, use i think uh, maybe some limitations are there but uh, i don't know uh, you have to go to the pricing section then you can see uh, everything under the free plan okay now you can see i have to click on this settings no, no actually not the settings it's called cog icon okay just click on the cog icon now you can see ai models are there okay actually what is the best feature that I can see here is multi LL agent. So multi LL agent means multi model system. So you can click on this. If you have alchemist uh, uh, plan, then you can use more than one uh, models. Okay. So I'm going to use cloud 3.5 sonnet and also I'm going to use uh, GPT 4.0 and also O1 preview. Okay actually not O1 preview uh, by the way yeah i will use O1 preview also by the now i got uh, three models selected okay if you got the free version then you have to select only one option as i think but uh, actually it's okay because you can get the best result out of it by the way now what i'm going to uh, tell is i need you to generate a macro code okay Actually, this is not a macro code. This is a VBA code to make a simple presentation. Actually, don't say simple presentation, but just say simple presentation because I'm not going to tell you uh, a very huge thing uh, with this macro because you can do some experiments with macro, but I'm going to say, I, I'm going to show you how you can do that basically. Okay, I need you to generate a VBA code to make a simple presentation about what we are going to generate actually <laughs> about interpersonal skills okay i will interpersonal skills oh, okay i think it's wrong interpersonal how can i type okay interpersonal skills make sure you generate 
the code for Microsoft PowerPoint 365. Uh, is it 365? I don't remember that. By the way, Microsoft 365. Yes, I got 365. Uh, and I will say also 2024. Yeah, that's good. Because uh, there are some incompatibilities because uh, there are some libraries that we have to use sometimes. So we definitely need to uh, mention uh, what is the what, uh, what is the version we use. Maybe 2007, maybe 2012, maybe 2016 or whatever you got. Okay. Actually, now what I have to do is actually you can click on this uh, dynamic prompt option here. So by clicking on it, you will be able to see some additional uh, things that you can provide as information. What is specific interpersonal skills should be included? So you can maybe select, you can type communication, teamwork, and etc. Actually, you can type like that. Who is the target audience for the presentation? Wow, this is perfect. So now it's optimizing the prompt we just type here, okay? Who is the target audience? Actually, I will say students, okay? So I'm going to present this to my students. So what is the duration? I will say uh, 10 slides is enough. But I, for now, I will uh, choose five slides, okay? What is the main goal for the presentation? Uh, actually, I'm not going to type anything here. And do you have any specific styles or themes in mind? No, okay? Actually, I will now select on this generate button there, okay? Now what you can see is it's generating something. We have to wait a little bit. I definitely will generate everything uh, with three models, GPT-4.0, Cloud 3.5, and O1 preview. So it's so speed. You can see already generated through the uh, uh, GPT-4.0, okay? And wait until uh, it generates uh, from other models also. Now you can see this is the code. Actually, the, this is called VBA code. Uh, so GPT-4 or generated something like this sub create function so you can see uh, the same code here But a little bit uh, differences are there. Okay, so make sure that you Read it well, and then you will be able to see uh, what is the magic that we can do with this macro thing Okay, what I'm going to do now is now I'm going to my go my desktop and here I'm going to select actually I'm going to make a new folder as Jedi AI presentation okay so you can uh, make something like that and now what you have to do is right click on this folder and then go to new and then you will be able to see microsoft powerpoint presentation just click it and you can type here as ex01 okay just name it as you like and then open it then you will be able to see the power microsoft powerpoint splash screen and now you will be able to see the uh, thing that you need to see okay actually all vbas are same but make sure that when you need to add some VBA codes, you definitely have to have this developer option. So how, how you can enable that? Okay, I will show you from the uh, beginning. Uh, for now, I will uh, make sure that now I got I, I got no uh, developer tab there. Okay, actually here you can see home, insert, draw, design, transition and etc. Okay, but how you can uh, get the developer tab there. So what I have to do is just right click on the home tab and then you will be able to see customize the ribbon and then after scrolling down here, then you will be able to see developer tick. Just click it and then press OK. Now you can see the developer tab there. So now after click on that, you will be able to see visual basic option here. Just click it and here you can see Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. What? This is called a dialog box. OK, whatever you like, you can say it. Here you have to make a module. So what is that module? Just go to insert and then click on this module option here. Now we will be able to see that module also uh, actually module got created here. Now what you have to do is uh, just uh, copy and paste the module code that you need to generate here. So we got three codes because I used a multi LL model feature. Okay. Now first I'm going to try with uh, this uh, GPT-4 code. So what you have to do is just copy this code. Okay. You can click on this uh, start place and then press hold the shift so press uh, please uh, make sure that you click on this start place then go down okay so you can zoom in zoom out by using control and uh, uh, mouse scroll button and then hold the shift and then click again uh, in the end okay so then you can see the whole text has been highlighted now what you have to do is actually oh wait 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 you don't need to uh, copy this vba part okay just start from sub so just click it 
and then go to the end sub so that's the uh, end point hold the shift and then uh, click on the end sub uh, end point and then control c to copy now what you have to do is just open open this module and then paste that code so control s to save that why we can't save it actually you can save it but the problem is make sure that you save this not as pptx okay i will show you how you can do that first go to file and then go to save as here what you have to do is browse okay then you have to click this save as type and then powerpoint macro enable presentation so you can see the extension is pptm actually generally we use this pptx but we have to make sure that we save it using a pptm extension okay then after that what you have to do is just click on the save button now however whether you copy some code here or not actually you can press ctrl s nothing will show because now we have already generated powerpoint macro enabled uh, presentation so this is macro enabled so whenever you uh, transfer this presentation into someone's uh, computer then uh, it will be asked some security questions about uh, this include some macro uh, macro uh, script so uh, actually are you okay for uh, running this application like that so that's the thing uh, with the macro enabled application by the way now what we have to do is just run this uh, click on the run, run button and now you can see the whole presentation has been generated okay now you may maybe think about actually this is not good uh, so how can it be good like that but this is okay now in the microsoft powerpoint you can see just click it okay now you can see this designer uh, tab here okay this is there's a designer tab here now what you can see is big with ai you can select uh, some designs as you like so these are cool designs right so just click the slide and then you can see uh, the everything on the designer tab okay like this so what i have to is do is uh, click on the designer and then you can select whatever the the design you like so this is so cool because i just used that uh, method on my mba presentation <laughs> also i re actually i'm doing i'm doing my mba now so i really generated something uh, from um, uh, what actually ai uh, so i just uh, wanted to uh, uh, save my time so then definitely this method helped me a lot so that's why i needed to uh, teach you from the beginning i hope now you can make something especially i just uh, wanted to generate five slides only okay uh, but now you can see it's generated file size if you need 10 slides if you need 20 slides then you can ask uh, jeda ai to uh, generate that kind of amount uh, of slides okay so i hope actually my presentation my video is so much helpful for you to understand how you can work with macro with powerpoint and also you can use jeda ai to generate something like macro so Thank you very much for uh, watching this video until the end of the video and uh, I hope you will be you will be able to subscribe my channel and you will be able to share this with your all the colleagues and maybe students and all whoever it is I should also please like uh, for this video then definitely I will be uh, much I will be get uh, more uh, motivated for sure so have a nice day thank you very much good luck